Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing about which of these two iconic horror movie villains come out on top. The two horror movie villains you've already seen from the title and thumbnail is Pennywise, the shapeshifting alien, and Freddy Krueger, the nightmare demon. To know who will come out on top, we have to learn about their backstories and who they are. So first of all, I'll start with Freddy Krueger. It all started in 1984 as the spirit of a serial killer who uses gloved hands with razors to kill his victims in their dreams, causing their deaths in the real world, as well in the dream world. He is a powerful force and almost completely invulnerable. However, whenever Freddy is pulled into the real world, he has normal human vulnerabilities and can be destroyed and killed. The character was created by Craven and was constantly portrayed by Robert Englund, sorry if I pronounce that wrong, in the original film series as well in a television spin-off in 2010 franchise reboot. Freddy Krueger was portrayed by Jackie Erie Haley, I don't, I'm so sorry if I got that wrong as well, in 2011. Freddy appeared as a playable character in the video game Mortal Kombat and in 2017 as a playable character in Dead by Daylight. Over the course of the series, Freddy has battled numerous survivors including Nancy Thomason and Alice Johnson. The original film introduced his backstory as the Springwood Slasher, a serial killer of children who had been burned to death by his victim's parents after evading prison. This allies would be used in other films and media throughout the franchise, such as Freddy vs. Jason and Nightmares on Elm Street comics. Freddy attacks his victims from within their dreams. He is commonly identified by his burnt, disfigured face, dirty red and green striped sweater, and brown fedora and trademark metal claw, brown leather glove on only his right hand. This club was the product of Freddy Krueger's own imagination, the blades have been wedged by himself. Robert Englund was said many times that he feels the character represents neglect, par partially that suffered by children. The character also more broadly re <laughs> represents subconscious fears. Wizard Magazine rated Friday, Friday the 14th greatest villain of all time. The British television channel Sky 2 listed him as the 8th and the American film industry ranks him as 40th. On the AFS 100 years, 100 heroes and 100 villains. In 2010, Freddy was nominated for the award for the best villain, formerly most vile villain, at the Scream Awards. Now to know a little more about Pennywise the Dancing Clown. It is the title character and the main antagonist of the Stephen King's It in 1986 horror movie. Yeah, you know the rest. The character is an ancient cosmetic evil which preys upon the children of Derry, Maine. Roughly every 27 years you know a variety of powers that include the ability to shapeshift, man equip reality, and to go unnoticed by adults. During the course of the story, it primarily appears in the form of Pennywise the Dancing Clown. King stated in a 2013 interview that he came up with the idea for Pennywise after asking himself what scared children more than anything else in the world, and the feeling that the answer was clowns. King thought of a troll like the one in the children's tale, Free Billy Boat's Gruff, Billy Goat's Gruff, sorry who inhabited a sewer system. The character was portrayed in its own Pennywise form by Tim Curry in a 1990 television adaptation. In 1998 television adaptation by Lil Puck and Bill Skarsgård in the 2017 film adaptation to its 2019 sequel, It Chapter 2. It, in the novel, it's a shapeshifting monster who usually takes the form of Pennywise uh, the Dancing Clown, originating in the void, containing surrounding the universe, a place referred 
to in the novel as the Macroverse. It arrived on Earth during an asteroid impact and made its home under the land which Derry would be built on. Intentionally preying on the indigenous tribes, it would sleep for millions of years. Then when the humans appeared in Derry, would fall into a 27 year slumber and wake about a year in order to feed on human fear. Often assuming the shape of what its prey fears the most, it has a preference for children since their fears are easier to impress and adults are harder to scare in a physical form. It can manipulate people with weaker wills, making them indifferent to the horrific events and unfold or even serve as a compliment. In the novel it claims that his true name is Robert Bob Gray and named it by the Losers Club. Throughout the book it's generally refer referred as a male due to its usually appearing as Pennywise. The Losers come back to believe it may be a female because it lays eggs. And perceiving its true f form as a monstrous giant spider. Sorry, wait a minute. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, uh, wait, no, I'm not. However, its true appearance is briefly observed by Bill Denborough via the ritual of Chud as a mass swirling, destructive orange light known as the Dead Light, which inflicts instant death or any living being that sees them directly. The only person to survive the ordeal is Bill's wife, Audrea Phillips. Although she is read in temporarily by the catanonic by the experience, its natural enemy is a space turtle, a Mataran, a ancient dweller of the King's Microverse, who eons ago created a known universe, and probably others by vomiting them out as a result of a stomach ache. The turtle appears again in King's series, The Dark Tower, Wizard and Glass. One of the novels in the series suggests that it, along with the turtle, are the self's creations of a separate, omnipotent create, creator referred as the Other, possibly Gan, who is said to have created various new universes. This is where King's novel takes place. Throughout the novel, it, some events are depict, depicted from Pennywise's point of view, describing himself as superior being with the turtle as an equal and humans as mere toys. Its hibernation begins and ends with horrific events, like the mysterious disappearance of Derry Township, 300 settlers, in 1740-43, to or the ironworkers explosion. It awoke during a great storm that flooded part of the city in 1957, with Bill's younger brother Georgie, the first in line of the killings. Before the loser club fight the monster and confront Kumulatine and Bill uses the ritual of Chud to serve wound it and force it into hibernation. Continually surprised by the loser's victory, it briefly questions its superior superiority before claiming that they, that they were the only luck as the turtle is working through them. It is finally destroyed 27 years later in the second ritual of Chud and Enormous storm damages the down part of Derry to symbolise its death. So, let's see how they'll do against each other. Freddy Krueger has the skill to kill you in your worst nightmares. That's a big L for Penny, as he sleeps for 27 years. Though I don't know, but Penny... Can Penny dream? Because Penny could just show Freddy's true fear. Fire? Maggie? Or even Jason from Friday the 13th. This is a very hard one to choose from. Freddy is a boogeyman who kills people in their dreams. If Freddy wanted to attack and kill Pennywise, he would have to get him where, while he's asleep. But Pennywise is not easy to kill. If you read the books and the move and watched the movies, uh, Freddy wouldn't exactly know how to kill Pennywise. And without Dream World. He is immortal, and leave him vulnerable to Pennywise's big sh-